Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I actually wasn't planning on filming a vlog this week, but I've been on such a roll with my vlogs recently, so I thought I may as well. It is day 12 post-op today, so on Wednesday, it will be two weeks post-op. I really just spent last week at home, so this is like my first week truly like back at work. I filmed a get ready with me on TikTok this morning, talking about like frequently asked questions about my boobs. And then I just filmed a white fox haul as well. All that I have left to do today is pick up a couple of packages. I've got to film a white fox story haul, which will be really easy. I'll just do that in the mirror. And then I've got to film a TikTok for them as well, which I'll just do in all the same outfits that I'm going to share on my story haul. So that will be nice and easy. And then I've just got like random things that I need to do throughout the week just to get ready for Sydney. I'm going to try and like space things out as much as I can just so that I am like not doing too much all in one go. But I really just spent like all of last week and even this weekend just mostly at home. My back's like killing me from being just in bed for like basically two weeks straight. I'm going to be like TikTok vlogging and YouTube vlogging. So, ow, I just hit myself. Um, that'll be really interesting to see how this is gonna go. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this vlog ends up well and ends up being uploaded because it's actually really hard, like, doing two... Well, actually, I've got three social media platforms, so... Yeah, like, when you're doing stuff, like, trying to do all things at once is a little bit difficult, but we'll see. Anyways, it's one o'clock now. I'm gonna go pick up these packages to just give myself a little bit of break from all the filming and being at home. Your locker is to the left. I'm back home now. I filmed those two videos that I need to film. Showered, took my makeup off, and I'm feeling nice and fresh now. I needed to get that makeup off my face. I have a few parcels here that I'm gonna open up for you guys. This first one here is from FedEx. I already started opening it. This is a PR package. <laughs> oh my god. That was my first sneeze in like a week. And for someone that has hay fever, that's a big deal. Kenzie IPL hair removal handset for permanent hair reduction, nine minute treatments, painless and effective, FDA cleared device. Cool, I actually see these all over like social media. I'm excited to try it. Let me know if you guys have tried this brand. Onto the second parcel. This is actually from Age. I picked up all this stuff when they were having an online sale. First thing we have are these gorgeous orange shorts right here. I thought that these would be perfect for summer. I also really love this belt. I feel like these will look really flattering on, especially when you cinch in the belt. So yeah, I got those. I'm pretty sure they were like 50% off or something ridiculous. I got this little crop to match and guys they are not like a perfect match but it's good enough so this is the little top it's like a straight cut top it says age in gold here which matches the gold detailing on the belt of the short i did get this one in an extra small so i'm hoping it fits the new boobs the new girl and then i got this absolutely stunning dress this is the dress right here very like Classy vibes. I think I'm gonna wear this to my um, nephew, not my nephew, James's nephew, his baptism, which is actually in a couple of weeks. I have a few different outfit options, but I think I'm gonna wear this. I'd probably have it buttoned up to like there, so there's a little bit of chest showing. Or I actually might leave it buttoned up so I can wear my post op bra underneath and not have to go without wearing it for the day. It has that same kind of belt, which will really just cinch everything in, and it's just such a gorgeous long elegant maxi and i've got a pr package here from joel brown i'm not entirely sure what's in here it did tell me to send some selects over which i did but oof, i'm not actually sure like what they sent me out of those this is like christmas oh no i am dead okay so i want to do like a tiktok unboxing so i'm gonna have to put everything back in the packages first thing we have guys if you have not bought anything from joel brown before you are missing out because their stuff 
is amazing i wish you guys could feel the fabric through the screen because it is so soft stop that's so cute what do you mean it's so stretchy just like a little cami okay, next thing which this is Definitely going to come to Sydney with me next week if it fit. There's actually no underwire in it, but it has the look that it does have underwire. Deep V, just plain loose t-shirt. Never go wrong. It's so freaking soft. I think this has fallen again. Can't reiterate enough how soft and just amazing quality their stuff is. Their stuff is really expensive. Like every time I've ever placed an order on there, I just buy like two things at a time because I'm like, Okay, that is so pricey. Next thing that I got is just this cami dress right here, which if that black crop doesn't fit me, I'm probably just going to bring this with me to Sydney and wear this while I'm getting my um, hair done. Super soft. It's like a midi length, so it's not super long. It actually reaches like mid ankle. No, not mid ankle. Mid calf on me. Next up, I got these black sweatpants right here these are the oversized ones i actually have a couple of their joggers already and i really love them but i don't have any of the oversized ones so i got the black ones in a size extra small slash small and then lastly i believe i got another pair of joggers off-white kind of color as well to match that cami that i got and i got it in an extra small slash small as well but yeah i am so stoked and grateful with everything that i've just shown you guys I'm so happy. Okay. It's literally the best thing looking out of the ocean every day. It's so relaxing. Who's eating her dinner? Look at her go. She's scoffing it actually. She's not just eating it, she's scoffing it. Taste test. I love getting meal delivery because Lord knows I'm not gonna be able to cook right now. And generally on normal weeks anyway, I'm really busy, so. I just get five of these. Um that's like the perfect amount for me for the week. Can you guys even see me? Surely you guys can see me. Do I need to get my big tripod out? I don't think I do. Anyways, I have a parcel from Amazon. I got this jewelry hanger off Amazon. Hopefully it's easy to set up. I mean, it doesn't look like the best quality thing ever. I'm gonna get like a hammer or something. BRB. Let's go have a little deep dive. Hi, hang in this bottom drawer, shall we? I'm pretty sure I used to have a hammer, but I don't know if I got rid of it because I feel like I never used it and now I need it. So if I got rid of it, um, that's really annoying. Oh, here we go. She's found a hammer, boys. I don't need no man. Just kidding. Love you, James. But he's not here right now, so we're being independent. Not that I need anyone to help me with literally the easiest freaking what's it called this is like the easiest thing to put together all right oh god okay i think i need two hands for this i knew that was gonna happen no you need to like really oh no that was a bad idea because i'm pretty sure i just bent, broke something in there you'd think i'd be able to do this really easily but I obviously just can't really like use is it even focused oh my god no it's focused on my freaking coat yeah this is obviously something that should be really easy but I don't have any upper body strength right now as you will probably know because I've only talked about it 700 times got rid of a whole heap of jewelry I donated so much so I've only kept ones that I think I'm gonna use in that little bag 
Maybe I'll do golds on one side and like silvers on the other, but then I'm just gonna have so much gold jewelry. Like it's just gonna show how much more gold I have compared to silver. All right, that's how that looks. I definitely culled down all of my like costume jewelry. Um, is that what you call it? Like not real gold jewelry? I don't know. Anyway, I culled that down quite a lot from when I had my like jewelry storage. So this is basically all of it left minus these two. These are real. Um, and I think like some of these are real too. This one I think is from the little and I think they sell, or maybe it's plated. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so this is basically all I have left. Actual, like, jewelry holder itself isn't the best quality ever, but it's probably the best for what I need. Um, a lot of the jewelry stands that I was finding had a lot of slots for, like, rings and just a few for necklaces and not really for, like, hoops, and that's what I have the most of, so I thought this would be the best option for me personally. I also just wanted something all white because basically everything in my place is white with like little hints of silver but yeah i'm really happy with how that looks morning guys i've got another package here from amazon that i wanted to unbox for you guys so i had to get a new travel mirror mine actually smashed while i was in europe so that wasn't fun it was a really really good one though but i mean it was in my carry-on so the glass on it is obviously just like super fragile because None of my mirrors ever usually break in my carry-on. And also, I literally wrapped it in, like, clothes as well in my carry-on. So, yeah. I didn't repurchase that, even though it was such a good size. I feel like this is way too heavy as a travel mirror. It is quite heavy, but it seems like it's a lot more, like, sturdier than the old one that I had. And it also lights up, which is great. And then I also decided to pick up this light, which is definitely the most expensive light that I own now. It comes with a little charger and the actual light itself, which I feel like this isn't even going to be that bright. Like it's a very, very small light. I'm actually really annoyed about this. This last one I am really excited about. I've been wanting to get the Ariel X Morphe brushes for a while but to be honest when i felt them in mecca i didn't like that the brushes were so soft i know that they're like that because that's his kind of makeup style like his makeup looks a very like natural kind of vibes i saw that this just up makeup brush set is a dupe but apparently the foundation brushes are a lot denser on this so i decided to pick this up it comes with 14 different brushes quite soft but they do feel denser than the Mario brush. I actually rate these. All right, I'm happy with this purchase. All right, I'm gonna make myself a coffee now because I need a coffee before I start getting ready. It's currently 11.30. We're just going to go do some content now. No, Maya's driving me. I feel like this is so weird. Because I've actually I've driven like once. I think and that was for my theology, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. This is my first day out without my compression bra on because I have to do content today and obviously can't really wear that with the things I have to get content in. So Maya's driving. Um but yeah, we're going to go do some content at the PAV and also we've got a booking at Rickshaws at 12.15, which I'm low-key stressing about because it's 11.30 now. It's going to take us like another 10 minutes to get there. Yeah. So we're basically going to have like... I think we'll be okay. Like we'll just be really fast at the PAV. Yeah. Like, but I need to order a drink too. Yeah, but like... Surely we'll be busy. Because we don't even like... They don't, you go up to... Like I'll go up to the bar and get it. Like they give you two straight away. Yeah. Maybe we can do like a full body one first. Yeah. I've got three photos to get today. Two for White Fox, one for um, this brand called Jim King. And the set they sent me is actually really cute. It's so comfy too. I feel like I made my boobs look good too. Sorry guys, there's some roadworks on the road and the road's just some like, turbulence going on. yeah. We've got some severe tur turbulence going on right now. 
Um, bro, they've actually made some progress, so look. On the other side, like where oh, the trams are gonna go, yeah. it's like so much wider, the road. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're gonna do that. I, I'm actually really surprised that I got a booking at Rickshaws because, yes, my. yeah, if you know, you know. I was actually just on there randomly last night. I was like, I'll try my luck. And there was so many times available today, which is really weird. Like, I know it's a Wednesday, but. They're normally like always booked. Yeah, for it's like It's always two really hard to get advance. for two people. That's what I feel like. Yeah, two people. It's easier for like more groups of people. Yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys when we get there. I'm really excited to actually be doing content again. I feel like it's been forever. <laughs> Today is Thursday. What's the day today? Thursday the 10th of August. I just cannot believe how fast time is going. Literally so crazy. I remember just prepping for Europe and then that went by so quick. Then it was my birthday, then I moved, then I had surgery and now it's already August 10th. Tonight I am making some dinner for James. I'm going to make him some homemade sushi, hand rolls, and then I'm gonna get some sashimi and gyozas as well and make like some nice homemade sauces. My day is kind of gonna revolve around that. I actually also really need to buy some placemats. So I'm gonna actually head now to Freedom and see what they have and also get any like last minute things that I need on the way home. Guys, look at how beautiful. Can we just take a moment though to appreciate how beautiful the weather looks today in the water maybe it's because i'm a cancer but i feel like i just thrive in the water i love the water I like seeing the water being by the beach just makes me so happy i think my favorite place that we went to europe apart from paris was greece and that's because we were literally just like swimming all day tanning so i really think that like living on the water and seeing the water every day does so much for my mood I'm literally just in this Uniqlo set that I wore like my whole first week of recovery. It's just so comfy. I kind of wish I got, I think I got the jacket in a medium. I wish I got it in a small now because my trackies are an extra small and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like now it's like too big. paid for this stuff all right guys i've walked out with a bag and it's not anything that i even needed so let's hope adez has something 
I mean, that wasn't a complete fail. If you guys watched my last moving vlog, you would have seen I got those containers for my kitchen. You know, the one that I put the tuna in. I don't know why that's still. I saw at, what is that sort of bed, bath and table that they're 30% off. So I got a couple more. I don't actually know what I'm gonna use them for. I think one of them I use for like cornstarch um, and corn flour because I always have that in packaging and I use it a lot in cooking. I wanted to get a container for that. I got another one because it was the last one left. So I was like, surely if this is the last one left of this one, it means that this is really popular. So I'll probably find a use for it. I'm gonna see what they have at Ferry Road, at TK Maxx. And then if not, there's also a freedom there and there's a pillow talk around there. back home now I'll show you guys what i got from harris first because i need to put everything in the fridge but i picked up some strawberries these are the gyozas that i like to buy they're just frozen ones and it costs 24 dollars for a kilo and they're really really good some sashimi so i got yellowfin tuna and salmon and lastly chicken mince for boo and then from freedom i did end up finding some placemats so I got two of each because I wasn't sure if these ones are going to suit my place. To be honest though, they are $22 each, which I feel like is way too much money for placements. So I think I might go back and return those and then get two more of these and then also get some white ones, like depending on what I'm feeling, but get like cheaper ones. I also feel like this is too small. So yeah, I think I'm just going to exchange these for two more of these and then get a refund on whatever else. Because I think these are only like $10 each. And then the only thing that I got from TK Maxx is this salad spinner. I wonder if it's actually, if you can put it in the, sure, sure. Yeah, I was definitely right. I think my plates are just way too like gray, bluey toned for these. These are very like yellowy toned. That doesn't look too bad. So I think I'll use these for tonight's dinner. And then I'm going to return these. This makes me wish that I just got white plates. That's all right, we can return that next week. This dinner, I'm all starting to prep it. There's quite a few things that need to be done with this recipe. So I'm just prepping as much as I can now so that it's a lot easier for me later on. So I'm just making the delicious gyoza sauce that I made, which is basically just grated garlic, sliced up spring onions, which I've got in here. Soy sauce, sesame oil, sesame seeds, sugar, rice wine vinegar, and chili oil. Spraying in my garlic my fingers out here now basically what I do is I measure with my heart so I do whatever's left of the sesame seeds give her a little taste I probably needs more vinegar but I need the rest of this for my rice. So it tastes really good, but. and then I unlocked the door and was like and went down there and the FedEx girl was gone just like run across the street she gave me the package 
And it literally weighs like five kilos. Bro, what are these? Sorry? Oh, I think this is like Logan Paul's or Jake Paul, one of the brothers. A drink company. So they sent me some drinks. What's this? Prime Blue Raspberry. Oh my god, this is so heavy. That's why. It's like a pack of 12 of these drinks. So they sent me Blue Raspberry flavored waters. Little update on the food sitch. I've cooked my sushi rice. I actually prepped this a different way. So obviously washed it like four times and then once I finished rinsing the rice, then I let it sit for about an hour in just water. What's it called? Like a cloth on top? And then I put it into the pot and cooked it that way. I've cut up my cucumbers for the sushi. Now I'm just gonna let the rice cool for like 20, 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna mix in the water, sugar, vinegar, that kind of thing. I can't believe this is all the rice wine vinegar I have left. Like surely I can't be that dumb. I'm so sure though. I feel like I did get an extra one, but I can't see it. So I guess I didn't. I'm literally about to spiral right now, like bad. So I ended up just ordering more rice wine vinegar on Uber Eats, which by the way, only cost $2. And then it was like $7 to get it delivered. But I was like, you know what, whatever. It saves me the effort of having to get in my car, find a park, like drive to the shops. And tell me why it's taken an hour for it to get here. I need to make my sushi rice and let it set, but I can't do any of that. And this rice has just been sitting out here for like, 40 minutes now. Other than that though, all I needed was cook my teriyaki chicken, assemble the teriyaki rolls, cook the gyozas, and then do the hand roll. Which I'm just gonna roll straight. I was gonna roll them into like cute little cones, but I'm not gonna have enough time for that. Dinner's meant to be ready in like 40 minutes, and I haven't made sushi in so long. And I'm just not that confident that I'll be able to get it done quick. Like it's not something that I make all the time. I'm also vlogging everything on TikTok, so. I've set the table up. You're on the speaker. Hey, what's happening? Um, Morning, guys. It is Friday today. I've got to head to the shops today and pick up some things for my shoot in Sydney next week. I want to go to Mecca and pick up some makeup. I've also got to get some. Um, skin color and also some black underwear from bras and things which I do have some but I think I just want to get some new ones I've also got to get like nipple covers and stuff so we're gonna do all that today I was gonna get my toes on but now I'm not sure I might oh I'm not gonna have time tomorrow but like I like this so hairy right now that I'm so embarrassed to like go get my toes on but I mean whatever like I'm sure they've seen hairy legs this is the outfit of the day I wore this white fox tracky set the other day in the purple color. Today I'm wearing the pink. It's just so much easier with having to wear my bra still to just wear tracky sets. Also gonna be TikTok vlogging today, so let's see how that goes. I'm not gonna lie guys, my boobs are a little bit sore today. I think I was just like running around so much yesterday, like picking up heavy stuff. Well, not really heavy things, but I was picking up like a lot of things. Anyways, I just pulled up to the shops, so let's go. They gave me my birthday gift as well. Now I need to go to the mega place and whatever. Just to find something else. Getting some gong cha, my fave. I always get the honey green tea with pearls, but he just said that they don't have pearls because their hot water machine broke. So I just got just honey green tea. Unboxing or a little haul of everything that I just got. But I needed to get some underwear for the shoot, so I popped into bras and things. 
And as I was checking out, I actually saw this and it was on sale. So I got this robe. I actually don't really have any like comfy winter robes. All of mine are like short silk ones. This would be perfect to just like chuck on and wear around the house. But I got this in a small. It was a large size small left. If you guys live in Australia, you would know that Bras and Things is the best place to get just like basic underwear because it's buy two get one free then from mecca i picked up a few things i actually wanted to get a lot more but there was a lot of things that weren't available yet like i really want that new hourglass tinted moisturizer or skin tint that literally everyone and their dog has been talking about on tiktok but it wasn't there so i might just have to get that online or um, i almost just said where i was going overseas soon but just i might just have to wait till i go overseas wow guys i'm just like looking out of the water right now the water's like so nice and flat today anyways back onto everything that i got from mecca um the first thing i got which i'm actually wearing on my lips right now it honestly just looks like i have a whole heap of lip balm on but it's got a nice cooling effect to it um but it's basically like the exact same color as my lips this is the hourglass volumizing glossy balm in the shade slip i was tossing up between this one and another color but i ended up getting this one because I just wasn't sure how I'd like the nudie one on my skin, but I might actually go back and get it. I do look really nice and glossy, and I like like the cooling effect that it has on my lip. And then I also got the Morphe Continuous Prep and Set Mist Plus. I don't know, this is new, everyone's been talking about it, so I got it. And then I also picked up this Hourglass little face palette, Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 3. And guys, these colors are so beautiful i swatched it and i literally died like you can wear these all separately you can mix them you can mix all of them together two of them together whatever you want to do lastly i got the Stila stay all day smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in the shade espresso they also actually gave me my birthday gift which i had a look at it so it's got inside the um mecca purifying cleansing balm and I don't actually know what's in this. But that's everything that I got. I need to film um, the outro for my surgery vlog. Have I already posted that? No, I haven't. I really want to get that video up by Monday morning because I've got a haul going up next week. Which, I mean, all of this would have already gone up before this video anyway. But yeah, I really want to film the outro for that. So I'm going to do that right now.